did I go see this movie? Why did I do it? It's your boy PB3G. Welcome to Blurred You Heard the Network. Make sure you subscribe to the channel on the way and like the video. I am sitting in the movie. Well, I'm sitting in the parking lot of the movie theater. Just for the past 10 minutes, just going over in my mind what I just watched. Like, it, there was some stuff I liked and there was some stuff I didn't like. I'm trying to give you my raw thoughts. <laughs> you know, and I'll be doing more videos on Wakanda Forever moving for uh, you know, in the coming days, weeks, whatever. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you know when those those videos drop. Turn on all notifications. But bro, this this oh man, let's start off with T'Challa, man. Rest in peace to Chadwick Bozeman. You know, this movie starts off with the death of T'Challa, like I, I I reported in my plot leak video the other day. So it starts off with the death of T'Challa. She's trying to finish. She's trying to save his life from some unknown Ill illness that they didn't. They didn't clarify where the illness came from, how he got it, or they, you know they mirrored it after what happened with Chadwick Boseman in real life, where he kept the illness to himself under wraps, and you know Shuri tries to save him and. It doesn't work out and T'Challa dies. That's where you see all the funeral scenes. In the trailers, that was for T'Challa. Rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. And, you know, rest in peace to T'Challa. You know, this was an emotional movie. And, you know, so Shuri is, you know, trying to carry on with her life. And they, you know, the Americans and everybody else around the world is still trying to, you know, get their hands on vibranium. And they stumble upon Namor. Namor attacks. And Namor was fantastic in this movie. Let's, if I want to talk about something I really liked, it was Namor and the Tolokans. I really liked Namor. Really liked Namor. Tanaka Horta was fantastic as Namor. I cannot wait to see a special presentation or a movie or, or a Disney Plus series about the Tolokans. I can't wait. They were fan Well, Namor, anyway, was fantastic. Atuma and Namora, we didn't really get too much from them except you know fighting and stuff like that so hopefully whatever they do with the Tolokans later they'll go into them uh, those two characters a little bit more but Namor was fantastic Shuri was was cool you know this is my first watch by the way Shuri was cool Ramonda was uh, you know Ramonda her mother was fantastic you know Angela Bassett is always fantastic anytime she steps on the screen and whenever it's a, a, a situation where she has to be emotional, she truly shines. Ramonda was great in this film. And the rest of the Wakandan cast was cool. You know, Naki was cool. Okoye was dope. I love Okoye. Can I just say that for a second? I love Okoye. I can't wait. There's supposed to be some project down the line for Okoye on Disney+. Plus. Yes, please give me that project. You know, but other than that, those are the things I liked. I just... Without T'Challa, this movie was just weird for me. You know, it was just weird seeing everybody process their grief over T'Challa and try to move on. You know, Shuri had a, t a hard time throughout this film. Ramonda was trying to hold everybody, including her country, together, keep the enemies at bay. And it was just, we need T'Challa back, bro. This movie wasn't bad. I'm not going to keep y'all long. And this move and this video probably won't be heavily edited because I'm busy. I got a lot of stuff I got to do. But this movie, we need to challa, bro. We need to challa. This was good for you know, you know, for the for the the first movie back. But we need to challa. We need a recastment of the challa. This just just wasn't the same. And no disrespect to the Bozemans, you know. But I just without the challa, I just it didn't hit me the same. It didn't hit me the same as the first movie, and it didn't hit me the same as, you know, previous fire Marvel movies. Like, this movie wasn't bad at all. Ryan Coogler did a fantastic job with, you know, everything going on. I don't want to crap on Ryan Coogler like everybody else has. But, you know, he did the best he could. This movie wasn't edited the best neither. I didn't like the shifting between scenes. It just, it just didn't transition as smoothly as I would have liked. But... <sighs> Other than that, man, we need T'Challa back, bro. I, I, I don't know if I can do another Wakanda movie without T'Challa, man. This was a lot. I thought I could handle it. I, I went into this movie with an open mind. And while I didn't mind Shuri as Black Panther, 
I just don't know if I can go a few more movies with her as the main Black Panther. You know, and this is obviously this is a spoiler video. The big thing at the ending credit scene was that you know T'Challa's son was revealed, and I spoke about this a few times on this channel. This, those videos are on my channel if you want to check them out. But you know, Nakia and T'Challa had a son. His name is T'Challa Jr. Basically, and I guess that you know he's gonna grow up and take over the mantle in a few years. And <laughs> you guys, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it, what, about that, man. I, I I just don't have the thoughts on that fully right now, man. You guys, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this movie in general. I don't stack this. I don't put this movie uh, 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 ahead of Multiverse of Madness. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't put this movie in front of Multiverse of Madness. I put it in front of Spider Man No Way Home. Shang Chi was really good. I didn't, you know, I wasn't one of those people that thought Shang Chi was the best movie of all time. But I, I would, I would put this movie at about. Shang Chi or Black Widow for me. I both enjoyed those. I I, I enjoyed both those movies, but you know this movie was a hard one for me, as I'm sure it was for a lot of you guys. And we went through a lot to get here. Let me know in the comment section below how did how did you feel about the final product? No matter what side of the recast, non-recast, you know, movement you you land on. Let me know your honest, unbiased opinion, man. I just I don't know, man. I got to see this movie a few more times. You guys let me know in the comment section below what you thought about all this. I'm going to go home and process my thoughts. Maybe I can get another video out to you guys tomorrow. But it's your boy PB3G. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, gang. I holla. Wakanda forever.